welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick from the city of Hampton. And today we are going to talk about spending a weekend shopping with fabulous vendors from around the country right here in Hampton. That's right. It is time for the Spring Bodacious Bazaar, and Sandra Gardner is going to tell us all about it. Welcome. Oh, thanks. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. Oh, we are getting, to, we are really getting excited. We have added so many different things. Um, you know, of course, last year we had the RVs. We'll have the RVs with us again this year. We have a landscaper that'll be with us showing you what you can do. Because, um, you know, you'll be done, gotten through that, I've got to get my yard straight, and hopefully you'll be We've ready to. We've been living in the backyard. Yeah, by, you'll be living <laughs> in the back. Time. By May 31st, you're ready to get out there and see what you need to get mm -hmm. to spruce it up even better. And uh, you're after the cleanup stage. You know, so now you're in the decorating stage for the summer and, you know, end of spring and, and summer. So um, we have yard art. We have... Um, let's, do, let's do the dates first. It's so people May 31st, can put it on the calendar. June 1st and June 2nd. Okay. Okay. We are from 10 to 7 uh, Friday and Saturday and 10 to 6 on Sunday. Um, it's... We have a one-day pass, or you can buy a, a two-day pass, which is a secret because that two-day pass gets you in all three days. <laughs> we call it a two-day pass, though. Anyway, it, um, you can, uh, the one day is $7, two days 10 and children are welcome. And it's just a lot to do, a lot to see. We have an artist coming out of Africa that does beautiful beaded work. Ooh. Um, he's got a special visa just to come for this show. I was going to say, so we're that excited. sounds new. We're excited to have him with us. Um, so we've got all kinds of neat, neat things going on. I yeah. think that, you know, at the, at the Christmas show, which is, of course, not at Christmas. It's, it's ahead in November. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of um, new vendors. Mm -hmm. There's always new people and, and a constant change. Yes. But I try to do that because you don't want to come and see the same thing over and over and over. There are shows that they're in the same spot every time you go, and I don't do that. I encourage my people to try to move around. And, and then also we work constantly on getting new new vendors. We were just at the Philadelphia Garden Show looking for vendors. We shop, uh, we go from show to show to show looking for vendors. We get their card and contact them. And we check out their booths and see if it's something that would sell in our area. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we want we want our vendors to do well as well as our public have what they want. So it's a lot of neat things. You know, November, they're usually buying gifts for friends and family and that right. kind of thing. Spring, you're buying for yourself. So there's some big ticket items there that, you know, you can uh, do for your own home, for your own self. Uh, my artist that does the hand-painted silk jackets, she will be with us again this spring. She missed last spring because of illness, but... Uh, we're glad to have her back with us. Um, so there's a lot of really neat things that you can see and buy. How big are your shows getting now? Oh, my goodness. Well, we had um, 340 vendors in November. We'll, uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> we filled the convention center. It's supposed to hold only 510 by 10s, I think. And uh, somehow I squeezed 510 10 by 10 spaces. Some of mine get some big spaces. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we were squeezing space out of that area, and uh, it's great. And, you know, we have the Virginia wineries with us, and that's a nice, a nice thing because if you don't want to go to a wine festival where it's just drinking, drinking, drinking. And it's so crowded. And it's crowded, and, it's, and a wow. different, it's a different kind of an atmosphere. Um, you don't have to buy that big wine tasting ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, all of our wineries carry their own license. They, you can step up there. You can buy a tasting from them. And I don't know. I think they charge like a dollar. It wasn't much. It's I know I did much. it. I did mm -hmm. it. I've done it before. Yeah. And they charge to taste. You can buy by the glass. You can buy by the bottle. We limit it so that it's not a. Um, I call them a drunk fest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, something about they, they pay that $50 for a ticket and they just feel like they got to drink that much. Yeah. You know, well, they've changed. Like it, yeah, you they know, have. It's, it attracts a younger crowd it who does, is there to party. So, you know, we saw, we saw a lot of 
uh, grandmas, they'd bring them up in the, in the wheelchairs and, and they were tasting and it was really nice to watch it. The wineries really like it. It works out very nice. Uh, it's just it's just enough. We don't we don't do more than eight, mm -hmm. and I never will. Uh, they're my they're my core eight that are with us, and so it's a it's a lot of fun to have them there. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other really neat things I have. Of course, landscaper this year, uh, the RVs. But there's fine art, buy sell, um, and of course the crafters. A, a lot, lot of, a lot of, of crafters, crafters. Mm -hmm. yeah. and a lot of food vendors. I you do have a and lot of seasoning. They'll, you know, they're not selling made food. What they're selling is stuff that you can go home and use on the grill. Mm -hmm. uh, dressings, and really the neat ones. Um, I've got a great soup dealer uh, that has some fantastic soup. Um, a lot of those, and that works out really nice. And you can't wait for them to get back to restock what you've what you've used. That's but, right. Um, and yeah. of course, a lot of, you know, clothing, mm -hmm. um, gardeny type stuff, mm -hmm. outdoor type stuff this time of I year. Do. Yes, I do. And um, we have a really neat artist that does um, furniture that's really unique, really beautiful wood, wood pieces that he does. Uh, so if you want something elegant for your house, he's the guy, different. Um, but you can get in uh, all three days free if you give blood. We run that blood drive for the week before in the Seven City area, and uh, that works out really nice. We were last year able to get over 400 units, and that blood stays in our area unless there's a severe disaster. Um, so when, you're, when you donate blood here, it stays here. Mm -hmm. So that is a good thing. And uh, so we'll run that blood drive the week before. Now, how does that work? The first time I did it, it was on site that mm -hmm. Friday. And of we the do show. have the blood mobile there on site as well, you know, if you want, don't want to go somewhere else. But um, that week, when you go and give blood, they give you a certificate. Okay. And you bring the certificate to the will call. Um, that's the same place where we're selling um, the online tickets. Okay. And you just come through the line, and we put that three day band on you, and it gets you in all three days. Um, and we think that that is uh, the least we could do for somebody giving a unit of blood. That's nice, because that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a money saver. How much do the tickets cost? The tickets are $7 a day, $10 for a two day. So, it's yeah, it's really very, pretty good deal to get the great, two day thing. Yeah, it is a great deal. And uh, in November, you can't see them all in a day. You really need a two day pass. Spring, we will have over 200, probably close to 250. Um, but there are a lot of big booths, you mm -hmm. know, the landscaper's a big booth. Um, the RV, of course, RVs are a big booth. Um, we're hoping to have the little tiny house, and I don't really want to call it a tiny house because it, it has full-size furniture in it. Um, it is really a neat thing. It'll be outside, and uh, you'll have to come and go through it because it runs somewhere between sixty-five and 75000 for this fully loaded, nice, nice built home. It's, um, you know, a guest house you can put on your property. It's uh, pretty neat. You can cool. Take, buy a piece of land down at the beach and put it there or up in the mountains. You gotta watch those zoning laws, but yeah, yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's a really interesting. People mm -hmm. are really beginning to think differently. They are. About it's um, a nice, what we need to uh, live. Yeah. And you, you need to come and go through that. I was so impressed with it because it was built, you know, with heavy doors and uh, gorgeous windows and uh, it is a well-built place, so uh, I, I'm hoping they'll be with us. Uh, we're, in, we're in the middle of talking, so uh, we've got some really neat things for you to see. I'm excited. We've kind of slid a lot of shows into one thing in the spring, you know, gardening, RVs, uh, you know, outdoor, indoor, and uh, for your personal self, so that's good. Of course, you know, we have a lot of jewelers. and mm -hmm. Oh, really, yeah. Yeah. Always so plenty of clothes, beauty. jewelers, mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. But I do love the outdoor mm -hmm. decorations right. and useful, you know, mm -hmm. useful stuff too. Yeah, bird feeders and things oh, that yes. hang and all that makes hooks and bird all houses. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, I love. Well, I collect now new bird houses, oh, new feeders. We've yes. become quite quite um, bird friendly in our mm -hmm. yard now. It's fun to sit outside yeah. and watch all that. It is. It is. So we're excited about where that spring show is going and, you know, we've kind of, we tried the outside, we've tried the, 
you know, the outside there. We, you know, we had bands and everything there and found that people wanted to just get in and shop. Yeah, I think it's a shopping day. It I is think a the festival shopping thing. festival. You yeah. know, you got to know what you are. And so we have really kind of tested the waters and uh, we realized that we are a shopping event and that's how everybody wants to keep us. And, you know, what it does years down the road, when my children have it, it'll be a, a, a different <laughs> thing. Uh, who knows? But, you know, our goal is to t end up taking over that whole convention center and hoping to fill it up so that... Uh, we can have a lot of different things going on there. Well, we appreciate that. And you know, the consumer shows don't necessarily bring visitors from out of town. You're serving the local residents and the people from the neighboring localities, but certainly your vendors stay in our hotels and they come oh, in my goodness. You know, for three or four days and, and bring a lot we of, you did, know. Um, we, we survey our vendors as to how, you know, how long they're staying here, where did they stay? gives us an idea when we start talking. And we had uh, 900 and some rooms over the, you know, they usually are here four to five days. So, uh, so wow. we had 900 and some nights in, in our local hotels. And we have a lot that come from out of town. We had a bus load come in from North Carolina. We had a bus load come in from Philadelphia uh, or Pennsylvania, somewhere in Pennsylvania. Um, they come from all over now, so we're ex you know we're really excited to see where that's going, and um, you know we block the rooms for our vendors. And um, matter of fact, one of the local restaurants, big restaurants, contacted me and said uh, we need to know your weekends because we do not allow any of our servers to be off during that weekend because we we are so busy. That's and I great. was like, wow, that's nice to hear. Yes, that is nice to absolutely. hear. We're bringing that money to our area. You know, we support our nonprofits that are all here. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's um, not just the Red Cross blood no, drive. You support no, a lot of nonprofits. we have several. We have the Lions Club with us. We have uh, one of the animal aides who are, are always with us. Um, we have the canines. The canines have gotten, oh, let's see, I think they got five or six vests last in November. They always are able to get several vests for the canines. Um, so we have several different local um, nonprofits and we try to keep it to a certain number so that they do very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're happy to be able to do that. Well, thank you. Thank you for choosing Hampton for your oh, show and for giving it. back to the community. There's plenty of shows that don't mm -hmm. give back. They're right. just there, you know, right. for for their own business needs, which is perfectly fine. Right. But giving back makes it yes. so much more um, yeah. special. You know, you, you get back what you put out. And I try to stress that with my, with my children. This is our home and we need to take care of it. And so that's our goal. And we're really happy that we're able to do that and that the community has been so receptive and they, they love it and we love it. Well, I love it too. I go, I go every time. So thank you, Sandra. I'm looking thank forward you. to thank it. Thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. I hope you will check out the show. You may already have it on your calendar. If you're, if you're one of the regular bodacious shoppers, you probably do. But if not, it is definitely worth a visit. Thanks for watching.